Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac and I'm not sure where Jack is. Actually, I do. He is downstairs begging for food from my husband. Um, so he is not with me right now because that is more important to him, obviously, is getting a bite to eat. But I'm sure he will be up here soon. Today, the series continues of a closer look into my closet. And I don't know if this really fits the like theme but I guess it does for me because I have pillows in my closet but today I'm going to be showing y'all all of my weird pillows that I've collected over the years and I know this is such a random video let's go ahead and jump right in I'm gonna show you guys this weird pillow collection all right first up is this adorable Dave and Buster's pillow I think I sh have shown this to y'all like I mean maybe a couple years ago on a goodwill haul video so i think i paid like two dollars for this pillow and there's no telling how much this was i mean it's dave and busters so I, I just love this pillow i think it's so cool another donut pillow i have is this one over here tis the season i absolutely love christmas and i had this for sale in my shop and i decided that i do want to keep it so it's still in my closet and I think I got it from five below. Well, look who finally finished his second breakfast. He made it up here. All right. All right, next we've got a pillow that I made when I first started sewing. This is the first thing that I ever did pretty much by myself. And it looks kind of rough, but, um, it's just like really special to me because I remember walking in the fabric store and seeing this fabric and of course I immediately wanted to make an outfit out of this but I just wasn't skilled enough to do that and um, I did have a little help I had like a teacher help me with some of this and um, I'm pretty much self-talk though like it's a long story but a little bit of help with this and you know, it turned out pretty cute. It's straight. <laughs> the flower, the stitching is kind of, you know, not so great on it, but it's all part of learning. And it's such a good reminder every time I look at it about just um, that I'm able to get fabric and make an outfit now. So it's a huge blessing. We've got this little guy, this little pillow. It says, take me home. And it's a dog and it's not like an official pillow pet but it folds up like one i don't know why he has a red tail it's kind of weird i've had this for so long i don't even know where i got it from probably goodwill or something it's a little like messed up on this side like there's some stuffing missing or something weird this one i bought not that long ago it is a girl scouts pillow and it has all the little cookies on it and then a unicorn and it's got more cookies on the back which i just think is so adorable and it unzips and it's like a little book type thing and i thought this would be really cool to travel with even though i haven't done that yet where i could just put stuff in here and then this is just like a little pocket so I love that, you know, it's got all this extra room in it to put stuff in. It'd be great for like, you know, an airplane ride or something. This pillow I actually got off Mercari a couple years ago. It's a giant elephant. And it's a Fisher Price Big Things pillow. And I used to have a pink one when I was a kid and I couldn't find it anywhere. Well, I think I found a couple, but they were super expensive. So I ended up getting this purple one. Its eyes are kind of cracked here, but that's the only flaw. This pillow I travel with quite a bit. It's a duck pillow that I got from Goodwill. I think I have shown this before in Goodwill haul videos. And it is like a pillow pet as well snaps together here and then it says the best part of this life is ducky with Jesus I just I love it so much I don't even know oh okay so it's from Swanson I have a lot of pillows this is kind of insane I'm gonna have to sell some more I think 
this one I was going to list, but I just like it so much. I don't want to get rid of it yet. It is actually a pillow pet and it's a patriotic one. I like all the little stars and flags on it. And I think someone had this listed for a hundred bucks on Mercari and of course it hasn't sold because that's crazy, but it said Cracker Barrel on it. So, um, I don't see where it has it on the tag, but there is another tag here that's like cut off. So I don't know if it's a Cracker Barrel one, but it does kind of look like Cracker Barrel to me. So I would not be surprised if it was some Cracker Barrel limited edition one. So this is probably my favorite travel pillow. It is a little pink poodle pillow. And I have shown this before in a Goodwill haul too. So when I travel, like usually I'm the passenger and I'll just put my arm up on this and it's so comfortable or I can lay on it. It's extremely soft. And same thing with this one. I've shown this to y'all before too in the Goodwill haul. And it has the little ladybug. My husband helped me put this on here. <laughs> like I had the idea and he put it on here and I love it. It's weird and it's quirky and it's very soft. But I saw the green pillow and this, they're both separate. They didn't come together. I just think it's really fun and this will be another great armrest pillow for traveling. And my good old subscribe pillow, which I haven't used in a while. But the funny thing with this pillow is, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's a pattern underneath. And it is a Lion King pillow. Very vintage, very old. I'll just pull out like part of it though. So it's the old school 90s Lion King. There's Pumbaa and Simba and uh, what's his name? I can't think of the skinny one's name. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I, I found this pillow at Goodwill for like $2 and didn't really do anything with it. And then I bought this cover and it fit over it really well. But I need to find a place for it again because I did have it here leaning up kind of against the mannequin. But now that she's gone, I don't know, I might put it in the window here. Let's see. I don't know if that really looks great, but I'll leave it there for now. This was a YouTube video that I did two, three years ago. I don't even remember, and I don't know why I did it. I love pizza, obviously. So I decided to do a tutorial on how to make a cheese pizza pillow because that's what I do. And I actually cut all these out and put them on here and this pillow has held up very well. <laughs> I'm really surprised. Um, so the whole thing is made from fleece, but these are made of felt because it was a little bit easier to cut. And yeah, just a giant pizza pillow. I love it. It's weird. It's, it's everything that I need for my closet, you know? Okay, so I think, yeah, we're down to the last two. It's actually a pair, so I guess we can count it as one. These are for sale in my shop, if you're interested. They're very cool. California Raisins Pillows. How awesome are these? They're huge. I did find these at Goodwill. And they are from 1987. I don't know if y'all can... I don't know if y'all can see that or not. These are in almost perfect condition. I mean, the only thing that's wrong with them, there's a little bit of like maybe some scuffing or something, some marks on the shoes. I don't see anything wrong with uh, the shoes on this one. And there's a little bit of like loose threading throughout just because of how old they are. I mean, but how cool are these? I mean, and they're perfect in my closet for now. I'm definitely going to enjoy them, but I think they need to go to a new home. 
because I always need to let stuff go and so I can bring things in. Sometimes I get bored quickly and I like to move things around and get new stuff for my own closet and yeah. So yeah, that is it, you guys. That is my crazy pillow collection. I mean, would you expect anything less? Let me know what pillow was your favorite. Comment whatever you want to. I love when you guys talk to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And Jack and I will see you guys in our next video. Jack, do you want to come say bye? Okay. <laughs>